We are the fungi family. Our farm we actually started in 2015 in a sea can. We ended up growing some really unique fungi. We had a small market following and a few restaurants who got to try the small sample pack we gave them. They said, this is great. When can I get 10 pounds a week? So 2017 is when we decided it had to stop being a seasonal operation and it was all in or nothing. The very first stage of our operation is looking into the laboratory. This is where essentially we're cultivating the seed for our fungi farm. So for us, it starts as simply as a spore on a petri dish. We'll take a small cutting from those petri dishes to transfer over to these liquid cultures here. Once we have a nice thorough colonization, we'll be sure to have a really nice seed uh, for our mushroom farm. All right, let's move on to the next stage of the fungi farm. We're using hemp fiber, really nice woody material. We can also use a lot of refuse from the hemp industry as well, uh, like the shells of the hemp. All the hemp parts that we enjoy in stores, they do have a shell around them. So we take all of the whole shells that have some extra protein and nutrition that we can use to grow mushrooms. All of that material goes inside the mushroom mash mixing machine. And this is where we're mixing up all the mushrooms food. In this space, we've built 13 identical growing rooms, each with the right temperature, the right humidity, the right airflow to create the ideal environment to grow these fungi. Uh, and this one is fruiting some beautiful pink and gold oyster mushrooms. So as soon as these bags are suspended, holes are poked immediately. Mushrooms do need to breathe throughout their entire life cycle. Essentially, we are creating an artificial log. Uh, so this log we have, right, full of hemp fiber recycled grain. And this one unit, each and every one of these bags, is one mushroom, one creature that can grow and produce many fruiting bodies. Each of the little sets of baby mushrooms can look quite different. They start separate right at the very beginning. They sort of grow and all these individual pet petals are just going to kind of cluster and fuse together until they make one beautiful bouquet. We are the very first farm of our kind in Canada to grow these mushrooms at such a large scale all year long.